A very, very good Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Why in the Morning only on Y254 TV. And as you know, today is Entrepreneurship Tuesday, and it's about time we get to know some of the individuals, the young people and the senior people who are making moves and making these checks. But starting us off today, we have somebody who is passionate about art, and I want us to meet the entrepreneur. He goes by the name of T. Mochola. He is a landscape artist and a graduate, mm -hmm. but he has decided to take his art in on a different direction completely, and I love it. So today in studio, it's one and it's earthly and mm. it's bright and it's full of acrylic so make sure you do catch up with us on social media you can find us at y254 channel the hashtag is why in the morning hashtag entrepreneurship tuesday on facebook we're at y254 on instagram y254 underscore channel on dstv channel 376 on signet 824 and on star times 54 so do delve into the conversation team wachala yes. karibu sana y254 selling here what Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Hilda, for having me mm -hmm. and uh, giving me this opportunity mm -hmm. uh, to share with you mm -hmm. what I'm working on, my art, and what I'm about. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure. Yeah, so please tell us, I'm hearing you're a graduate of architecture. Yes. yes. So yes. how did you find yourself becoming a painter, especially of acrylics and earthly colors like this? Yeah, okay, uh, actually I'm a graduate of landscape architecture. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's in the same line, mm -hmm. uh, but a bit different because mm -hmm. we're on the outdoors. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also, I've been doing art since I was really small. Mm -hmm. Not really, I wasn't really the best. How or small anything. is small? <laughs> what do you mean by small? Like, <laughs> since, since I can remember anything. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd get crayons and, you know, sketchbook. Those were my gifts mm -hmm. uh, for my holidays and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I carried it on over the years. And being in architecture school gave me that, uh, like, the skills, like, to take it on. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy it. So, it, it just fell into place, I can say. It just fell into place. Yeah, it just fell into place. Why did you decide you wanted to play with African, African culture, wildlife? Mm -hmm. I can see a lot of sun colors here, mm -hmm. a lot of earth colors, acrylics. Mm -hmm. What happened? Like from architect to painter to, to this deep person who is focusing on mental wellness. Mm -hmm. Please let us know what happened. Oh uh, Well, okay. For me, like th there's a video about uh, the Econ was talking about how Africa packages itself. Econ, the artist. Yeah, yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And you see for us, in, in Africa, we have a lot to share, the wildlife, the culture, and, and all that. Mm -hmm. And as an African artist, it's like an inheritance, you see? Mm -hmm. You have a responsibility for your culture mm -hmm. to take it on. Because you can imagine the technology and the development and everything, our culture is slowly fading away. Oh. And as artists, mm -hmm. we, have to, we are like the custodians of culture. So mm -hmm. the only way we can take it on is through imagery and the arts and music and stuff. Mm -hmm. And for me, I like to really imagine my, my happy place is, my utopia is, is that place in, in Africa with so much energy, so much color. Mm -hmm. And that's what I bring uh, into my artwork. Mm -hmm. and, may, and I hope in future, my artwork will be like a reference mm -hmm. for what goes on in Africa mm -hmm. in, in terms of the culture and you know, just the daily activities that we do, the wildlife, just the beauty of Africa. I mean, I want to show that to the world. Mm -hmm. And I want to be that person to, to take it on globally. Okay, yeah. so because, uh, it, because it today is about entrepreneurship and it's about the money, mm -hmm. let's talk about some of the materials that you use and how mm -hmm. did you afford them? <coughs> did you support yourself? Are you, are you self-made or mm -hmm. do you have a team? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know. Okay, um, as an artist, first of all, you have to be an entrepreneur to survive. Because mm -hmm. art, art is a really tricky field. Mm -hmm. In the arts, generally, you have to be really creative in, in creative in how you make your money. Mm -hmm. So I started really small. Mm -hmm. I started by doing competitions, just like Manjano. It's mm -hmm. a competition that guys do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And you know, the small steps, you do one and you get the response. It might be good or bad, mm -hmm. but you can always see the light uh, at the end, you see. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, what, uh, that's what I started with. I started by doing competitions. Mm -hmm. I'd do art on weekends where girls were partying and doing stuff. I'd be doing art. Mm -hmm. And also, I just use the cheap materials. Like every artist, you start with pencils, mm -hmm. get the basics right. Mm -hmm. uh, the figure, the figures, the perspectives. That's what I really started with. Mm -hmm. So as, t as time went by, mm -hmm. I'd uh, buy acrylics. Mm -hmm. They are quite affordable. You can save up and just get Kidogo. Mm -hmm. Then slowly build up. So I, I went from acrylics to oils. Mm -hmm. Then when I could sell a few pieces here and there, mm -hmm. I decided to go bigger mm -hmm. and use better materials, better quality materials for, for that, for that, uh, for, for just just bring that better quality work out there. You've talked about participating in competitions. Yeah, Did yeah. you win any? Ah, not yet. How many have you done so far? Uh, maybe two or three. Oh, so it's, so it's still 
still not so many. You still have a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then when you know when you know it's a marathon, man, whether you win or lose, mm -hmm. as long as you did something, man, mm -hmm. it keeps it keeps you going. Maybe next time mm -hmm. I'll win something. Mm -hmm. But then you know, also as an uh, as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you can't depend on competitions to like make your money. Mm -hmm. So you have to really strategize, lay it out. See if you can do some shows, mm -hmm. see if you can do some portraits, mm -hmm. see if you can work with organizations mm -hmm. uh, with different themes just to bring out what you're about and what they're about. You know, it's, 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 it's like on both sides. Mm -hmm. You can't be an artist without the community. So you really have to work with, with the community. Speaking of bringing your work out, how did you put yourself out there? How did you get yourself into those competitions in the first place? Well, uh, there's always an open call. Mm -hmm. So when there's an open call, uh, you just submit your work and there's a jury to to choose maybe the best 40 or something. Is there any platform in specific where people can go and register to participate in competitions? Yeah, the, the most common one is Manjano. Mm -hmm. it's, it just ended. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's, it's a good starting point if you're a starting artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, okay, they're normally posted. Now with social media, mm -hmm. you can get information. Just type in their call for art and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you'll get a uh, few competitions you can, you can participate in. Uh -huh. But then you have to really get the basics right. You so know? people should use the internet to also do research on yeah, some yeah. of these competitions yeah, yeah. So if they yeah. want to put their work out yeah, there. Yeah, you, you have to embrace the world. Because right? uh -huh. you, you can't believe in utopia. Mm -hmm. The internet is there, it's there for us. Mm -hmm. We have to use it. And it's a, also a big part of art, entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, so tell me about the first piece you sold. What was it about? And um, and how much did you even sell it for? Or is that a secret? <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> but okay, what was There's the a lot of piece? mystery in art, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what tell me about your first piece? The first piece that you ever saw, someone was like, okay, you know what, I'm going to pay for this. What was it about? Uh, okay, the first piece I ever sold, uh, it, it was a really, it's, it's a really nice story because, okay, it was through my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, she showed me someone really liked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was, I was really happy to sell it. I, said, I sold it at a good price. Mm -hmm. But then uh, when I went home for my holidays, mm -hmm. I found it in the house. So, yeah, my mom bought it. Oh. And I never knew for like close to six months. So I was like, yo, Aww. this really happened. <laughs> and you know, that's, that's why as an artist, you need that support. Because okay. when you have the support, you can push yourself mm -hmm. and you can see the hope. Because most of the time, artists don't take it on because mm -hmm. like, you don't see how, how far you can take it, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you have a good support system, uh, it, 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 it's good. Oh, so the support system is important when it sana, comes to this particular sana, sana, industry. Sana, sana. And if you don't have one, create one. Man. Get one. Oh, if you don't have one, create, yeah, create one. one. Okay. Like you, you need it, you need it. By the end of the day, you're mm -hmm. not like you're not alone in this world. You okay. need get some other artists because mm -hmm. you go through things together, mm -hmm. which will strengthen you. If you have a strong heart for the craft, you'll take it on. Okay, so take me through your creative process. I'm seeing some really, really uh, fascinating use of colors here. Yeah, and yeah. Um, please take me, please take me through. I don't know if we can start with this one that's right next to me. Yeah, Take me through yeah. your creative process. What was going on here? Well, okay, I'm I'm a huge fan of African wildlife mm -hmm. uh, and what it's it's really all about. Mm -hmm. And also, I believe art has to be unique. It has to be thought provoking. Mm -hmm. So I I try to think about that when when I'm composing for a piece. Mm -hmm. Sometimes thought provoking. Yeah, yeah. You have you have to think about it. Like look at it and think about it. Mm -hmm. So like uh, right there, we have an African. Uh, boy mm -hmm. on top of a bu buffalo mm -hmm. and it's a hard you know mm -hmm. so there I'm just talking about leadership and yeah it, it doesn't you don't have to be like Ooh, really old and, yeah, uh -huh. yeah really old and, and and like so wise to be a leader you can really start oh, small please say yeah. that again mm -hmm. yeah you can really start small and mm -hmm. that's that's what I was really portraying there because you know buffaloes are pretty aggressive yes yeah and for for that boy to like tame them and have like a heart behind him. Mm. It means there's something special in him. Mm -hmm. And like when I think about the paintings, I think of them in a different world. Mm -hmm. The ideal world, like Africa in its ideal sense, you, mm -hmm. you know? And that's actually what I had there. And uh, yeah, we have the birds. And also I use the color to create like an illusion of space. Because mm -hmm. if, if you look at the painting, you can see the depth. And you know, at least get, get into it. It's like a movie, man. It's like a movie yeah, up yeah, in so here. Yeah, just just get into your own world and, and create. So that's that's how you do it. Okay. Time, yeah, yeah. 
I like that. I like that idea. I can see. I can see you're you're very deep when it comes to how you're doing your images here. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about that one. What inspired that one? I can see a woman who looks like she's levitating. Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. is happening there? There's a lot of spiritual <laughs> vibes here. Even yeah, the yeah. colors itself. Wow, makes me feel some type of way. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. So what's happening with this lady? Well, um, it's it's about the African woman, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm really thinking about freedom and being able to express yourself, and the levitation is. Is that point when you are in a different space, you know? It's mm -hmm. a spiritual space. So, like, you're free from all the restrictions of the world and mm -hmm. stuff. <coughs> and you're able to fly. So, <coughs> when you look at the, at the, at the painting itself, mm -hmm. it gets brighter as it, as yes, it goes yes, up. Yes, yes, it gets brighter. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's, that's very symbolic, man. Mm -hmm. the, the more you, you, are, you embrace freedom, the more you embrace yourself, the more the light shine, shines on you, man. And that's, that's, that's what I was, I was really talking about. It's a, it's a bit mystic and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's it's all about freedom, man. We we need that right now. We need that for Africa. We need that for African women, and that's what I'm really thinking about when so I'm doing this. Piece. So this levitation is causing her to elevate. Like yeah, yeah, just just elevate, man. Wow. Embrace yourself, elevate, float up, mm -hmm. feel free. That, mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking about here. Feel free. So Brian Eiko, please, please. Uh, we have somebody else with another piece of yours here. Mm -hmm. Please come with it. Yeah, you can come right here. You stand here in the middle. Yeah, so yes, so tell me about the elephant and the two children, the two African children I'm seeing here. Yeah, yeah. so still still on the African vibes, mm -hmm. wildlife, and there's lots, lots of love in Africa, man. When you are, when you are young, we used to be really close. Mm -hmm. And that can be portrayed on both sides, both mm -hmm. on in humans and, uh, the wild, uh, and wildlife. Mm -hmm. And, well, elephants are really lovely, and, you know, there's extinction, there's so much uh, change in the world. Extinction. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. So is it extinction of love in Africa or what's happening? Yeah, you c just how you see it, man. Because oh that gosh. you can inter interpret it differently. Yes. So that's, okay, here we're really looking at the spirit in, this, in itself. Because mm -hmm. the spirit of the animals, you can mm -hmm. see, and the yes. spirit of the children. Yes. So there's that closeness. Mm -hmm. There's that, because the children, they don't look necessarily happy. Yes. They look like they're in thought, you know? Yeah. So there's that, there's that thought in them, both the children and the animals, that tries to ask us like what, what's next for the world you know mm -hmm. what's what's next for the for, for our future because these are like baby elephants you can see the tasks are, yes you know? yes yeah like what's what's in it for us in this world yeah so, so some of the pieces are really contemplative mm -hmm. when i see it and i think about myself mm -hmm. about our society mm -hmm. about the world mm -hmm. i try to portray it in my pieces and that's 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 what comes out here so where does the mental wellness come in? Like, is it with the color? Is it the feel? Um, or what, what is it? What is it? Uh, well, okay, for me, when I started really, mm -hmm. like serious art, mm -hmm. I wasn't really at, at the ideal space. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you get, not only in visual arts, mm -hmm. but uh, the creative mind really gets at peace when it creates, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I started painting like seriously, I'd get so like relieved after it. So oh. there, there was that. Just, just being in it and doing it, because you get so immersed, you're in a different world. Like whatever I'm doing here, you can see I'm, I'm in a really different space. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you're going through so much, you need that space uh, for yourself, just to think about stuff, just to ponder about things. And you know, by the end of it, you feel a bit free. Mm -hmm. You might not necessarily get the solutions to whatever you're thinking about, mm -hmm. but you get to, to feel relaxed, you know? It's the same for the feeling you get in art. It's the same thing with, uh, with fitness, you know. Yes. You do it for a couple of uh, hours or something, mm -hmm. and after it you feel relieved, you know. Mm -hmm. You get the energy to do to do life, man. Because mm. li life to, has to, to keep up, to, yeah, keep, to going. keep going. Uh. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's actually what I was thinking in terms of mental wellness. It's important, and sometimes it's hard, man. Mm -hmm. So things like art, music. That's why we listen to music a lot because mm -hmm. it, it takes us to a different space. Okay. You need that utopia kind of space. Utopia. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I like your idea of utopia. You know, young people are really going through this whole depression and people don't really know how yeah, to yeah, let yeah. off their emotions. I like the fact it's that you've real. told them that this, this is a solution. Yeah, yeah it is, it's part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you can say it's, it's, it's part of getting to the solution. Part of getting to the solution. Yeah, because mm -hmm. so you have to really sort out the problems, you know. Mm -hmm. And this is like an, an escape for you. An escape. Yeah, it's like an escape. And you can get time to think about it in a different uh, kind of light, you know? So all right, yeah. all right. Okay, Kidogo Aiko, Asante Sana, we can take this Very piece good. away. Yeah. yeah, so tell me, how long does it take you on average to come up with a painting like this, a portrait like this? How long? 
Uh, it can take from a couple of hours to a few days. Hours? Yeah, There's yeah, something yeah. you have done in hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodness. Because, okay, you know, it's, art, art is really spiritual. Mm -hmm. Look at art, you look at music. There's, there's a spirit in every kind of music you listen to. Mm -hmm. There's a spirit in every kind of art you do. Mm -hmm. So it really depends with the energy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can wake up and you feel so inspired. The idea is clear. Mm -hmm. It won't take you long to bring it through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just around three hours. Um, but that's, that's a very energetic day. Mm -hmm. Like you're really, really in the, in the mood. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can also take a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Not that you're working all through, mm -hmm. but because you just need some time to compose. Mm -hmm. You need some time to like, uh, you know, to digest the idea you have and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really, it's really, it's really different. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it depends on the piece and whatever you're working on. But that, that does not mean that if you take a shorter time on mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. it's not... That it's not going to be good yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. the, the soul in it, mm -hmm. the energy in it, that's, that's what matters mm -hmm. for art. Wow. Yeah, that, so it's not really about the amount of time you take. It's just about it's just about the quality of work that yes, you put out. Yes, quality of work. Mm -hmm. And also it depends on the style. Some styles still take more. Ah. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're really going for the realism, hyperrealism kind of way, mm -hmm. you have to take more time. Because th ah. yeah, it, that's technical. There are some things in art you can't trash. So depending on the technique, artists are different. Okay. And also as you structure your business mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur, you have to really take into consideration mm -hmm. how long you take for every piece. Because that shows your production rate and you can see how you oh, balance it out. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so that also comes in when you're pricing your commodities. Like if this yes. one took you a very long time to do, you, you tend to add more value yeah. to this. It's, it's part of the factors, uh -huh. but not necessarily. But it helps you structure your business. Okay. Because as an artist, you are a freelance artist. Mm -hmm. There's no one to tell you, like, you have to wake up at this time. Mm -hmm. So that helps you with planning and mm -hmm. scheduling whatever mm -hmm. you're doing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the challenges in your industry, this particular oh, industry, mm. the art industry in Kenya. Yeah. What would you change about it if you could change something about it? Well, um, there's so many challenges, mm -hmm. but some are bearable, some are not. Let's uh, start with the, with the unbearable ones. Yeah, the unbearable. Mm. Okay, uh, as, a, as a starting artist, you have a hard time getting your work out. Mm -hmm. But that's, there's a solution to that. You can build your social media. Because mm -hmm. art is visual. Mm -hmm. So you put your work out there. Mm -hmm. So just giving opportunities for, for artists to show, showcase their work. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way. You know, we have to think about it cumulatively. Because mm -hmm. you are competing against the, the world. Mm -hmm. It needs to be, a, we, have to, we have to really have a strong presence in our own country. Oh. Yeah, and to improve the quality, there have to be shows. So, so that the old artists can meet with the younger artists and you can see the quality to look up to. Mentorship. Oh. Yeah, mentorship. Mm -hmm. That's that's very important. Mm -hmm. Getting your work out. And also there's that you know art art is a very art art is like diamonds, man. Mm. So you the 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 structure used to sell art is a bit different. Mm -hmm. So you need to merge to find a way to, to merge like the clients with the that artist hidden somewhere. Because mm -hmm. you know we have artists with so much good work, but it hasn't been seen yet. You so know. you kind of need, uh, the, the industry needs more brokers, more people to introduce yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. to artists. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, middlemen, not yeah, brokers. Yeah, middlemen. Mm. Yeah, I'd say middlemen. Mm -hmm. And also, it's, it, the responsibility falls on, on everyone, you know? Because mm -hmm. as, as an artist, you have to really reach out mm -hmm. and get those professionals so that the country really values art. Because still, the value of art is not is not so strong here ah. and that's why globally we still aren't competing as as much as we can because for that you need resources mm -hmm. and that's financial mm -hmm. so it, it means people have to really understand the value of art mm -hmm. yeah so it's that it's a just imagine the clients with the with the artists mm -hmm. and also creating the value it's, you know it's, it's a cumulative thing like I, I said you can't be an artist without the community mm -hmm. so it needs both sides to like you know you enlighten the I community. I like that. You can yeah, be an yeah. artist without the community. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're talking about people, you're talking about uh, life, like wildlife and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for, for me, it's just more opportunities for artists to showcase their work, mm -hmm. uh, more mentorship opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that, that one now is on the artist side. Mm -hmm. Like reach out, reach mm -hmm. out. It, it helps. Getting a, a mentor in business helps with your, with your trade. It doesn't have to be necessarily uh, in, in the arts.
Also, you do need some kind of assistance. It's not it's not yeah. a one man one it's woman a show. show. It's not a one man show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's talk about some of the things we can celebrate about the art industry yeah. here in Kenya. Yeah, yeah, Aside yeah. from all the challenges, at least I like the fact that you've given us a challenge and the solution. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, now, yeah. what can we celebrate? Yeah, um, there's a lot to celebrate. Mm -hmm. uh, with the technology, the internet coming through, mm -hmm. guys are getting enlightened. You can see the quality of work outside. Mm -hmm. You can see different forms of art, and you know. That has given the, the youth like an opportunity to really explore, mm -hmm. to go out of their way. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's that's one thing we can celebrate. And also, the client base is growing. In as much as it's not growing as as fast as we want, mm -hmm. it's, it's growing. Those small steps will go a long way. And uh, I, I like the, the fact that now with the Instagram, the Facebook, and everything, yes. you can now go global. Mm. You don't have to like depend on the infrastructure, the previous infrastructure so much. You have to your really work be can be seen yeah, on a global, yeah, yeah. On, a yeah, global on a global perspective. Scale, yeah, that has yeah. expanded your client yeah, and, base. And you need that for Africa, man. Right? All right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so how do you keep your clients coming back to you? Like me, definitely. If I buy this, which I will, I mm -hmm. think I will buy. I love the art colors. Yeah, I love I the sign. That. I've told yeah. you. I've been singing about yeah, it yeah. ever since I've seen them. Uh -huh. So, how do you keep your clients coming back? Well, I think it's in the quality mm -hmm. uh, and how you relate to to your client. That's mm -hmm. that's, that's that's actually the most important thing. Mm -hmm. your, your relationship with your clients. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can bring quality to the table. Because mm -hmm. if you value someone, like honestly, you won't uh, give them like a product that's really out, out of their standards, you know. Mm -hmm. So first thing is the uh, mm -hmm. relationship with their clients. And also, yeah, you just, you just do your best, man. As an artist, you owe yourself that. You owe yourself to do your yeah, best yeah, and give your the best work it's, out. It's a, it's a lifelong thing. Wow. Cause, and something, if you don't do it at your best now, it will come to haunt you in the future. True. So, yeah, so quality always. Quality counts. Quality counts. I was even just about to ask you if you have any words of inspiration for the artist, but it appears you've said so much. So is there yeah, any yeah. parting shot or what keeps you going? Let me put it like that. What motivates you? What what gives you a reason to wake up and paint some more? Like what what are you about? What's team about? Well, um, for me, what keeps me going is because I uh, it's just one thing. I know I know there's nothing else I'd rather do, mm -hmm. but art. And also, mm -hmm. I've recognized that it's it's mm -hmm. a marathon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 a lifelong kind of thing, because that's that's the only way I can you know I can be at peace when some things are not going well or, or something. Mm -hmm. But I, I try as much as I can to go all out. Mm -hmm. So once I just know it's a marathon, mm -hmm. I know there's a good cause to it because I'm all about Africa. I'm all about taking Africa uh, to where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. The future, the future is in Africa. Man. Mm -hmm. Africa is very unexplored in, in some ways, mm -hmm. and that's 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 kind of my responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I owe that to my ancestors. I owe that to the African people. Oh. that's what keeps me going mm -hmm. every day. So when, so, so what next for you? Now that you said there's nothing else you'd rather do, like what next for you? Uh, well, for now, uh, I still want to improve on the quality of my work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the only way is up. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to really get my work uh, out there, mm -hmm. compete globally, mm -hmm. yeah, and interact with artists globally so that we see where we can place Africa, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, for now, we'll be having a show mm -hmm. uh, from 8th to 22nd. Mm -hmm. That's where we'll be showing our best works. Mm -hmm. I'll be with the two other artists, Sammy mm -hmm. Lutaya mm -hmm. and Steve Lance, mm -hmm. also great artists. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think for that show, I'll be, I'll be standing on the shoulders of giants. Mm -hmm. And we'll, ha we'll have some really nice work. So from there, now you can see the direction we're going. Okay. Uh, it's, it's going to be better, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. More imaginative. You're getting into that space. You're getting into that happy space. Mm -hmm. And that's in it for me. Happy, happy space for yeah, artists. That, that happy space, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Asante Sanati Bochala, it's about yeah, time it's we pleasure. conclude this interview. Yeah, I have really yeah. enjoyed listening to you and your ideas and your... Wow, it's amazing. Taking Africa to the world. Yeah, Thank humble, you so much yeah. for making time for us. And by the way, he's a very young man. Woo, -woo Simwangale to you, but he's very young. He's a young <laughs> entrepreneur, young entrepreneur to be more specific. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you're watching Entrepreneurship yeah, Tuesday. Thank yeah. you so much for starting our day on a bright note, on a yeah, talented yeah. note. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. My yeah. name is Hilda Wadidi. Please do not go anywhere. Bye, Moses. Enjoy Mochache. We'll be coming up with some more goodness on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Yeah.